gonna break my rod. <laughs> it's like six feet long. <laughs> Me and Grant are in Washington right now, and we just got a shower at a truck stop. Uh, as you can see behind me, a little bit different scenery compared to Glacier Park. We're at a pretty industrial area, and the only reason why we're doing that is because, or the only reason why we're in an industrial area is because the Columbia River and the Snake River meet up close to here, and then we're gonna go for white sturgeon, possibly green sturgeon that I've heard of, um, but it's a fish that we've always wanted to try to catch. So we're after this, we're going to the bait shop, getting tips, bait, uh, whatever we need for tackle, and then we'll be on the water. Took us long enough to get out on the water. It's like two o'clock already. We got up at eight. We wasted a lot of time because uh, we tried to upload the video at a couple different places. We ended up going to the public library in, here in Washington. And then we went to Sportsman's Warehouse got squids and tackle we needed but we're finally on the water and we're gonna head up to the dam I forget what the name of it is but we'll put those details in here a little later so just stick with us and let's see if we can catch some sturgeon Get out the motor. look at this we have pulled. <laughs> Hunter I gotta grab the anchor Get oh, that was eventful. Ten minutes in, we got a fish on. We talked to a guide out here. They caught two eight-footers in one day. This thing went on a haul. This thing made jump. I don't know. He was gonna spool me. I had, I had double this line on. All of a sudden, tap tap. I leaned into him. Stand up on the bow. I don't want to fall in. This thing is powerful. Grant, view that. He might jump. You got to be on the motor quick with these things. Oh my gosh! I could have got spooled in ten more in maybe a minute or more. I would have been done for. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh my gosh, is. look at that thing. Look at this thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like six feet long. <laughs> oh dude, that is so big. That's like six feet, seven feet. That thing is so big. Oh my. We're gonna get him. <laughs> Grab him by the tail, Hunter, and we'll just bring him into shore. Look at how clear that water is. We want a picture Amazing. with that thing. Fish of a lifetime Fish right here. Fish of a lifetime. Probably seven feet. We're gonna put them right back in. You can't take these fish out of the water. Super clear. We were here for that 10 minutes. Go. It's quite a process coming in to get a picture because you can't take a model of water, uh, but we made it work. Hop in the boat, we're gonna get right back on the spot and get back at it. That was quick and that is awesome. All right, this is how we're storing everything. Have it in the frayable bank, magnum bait station, keeps everything cold. We have squids that we bought at uh, Sportsman's Warehouse, just frozen. And then you use this, it's elastic string, and then you kind of wrap the squid on the hook because you have to use barbless and the sturgeon if you don't do this the sturgeon will take it off and you mummify it and it doesn't matter they still eat it just as good that was the biggest and the hardest fighting fish i've ever had and according oh that's a small one or a medium sized one a six seven footer that one was and we talked to a guide he caught eight footers today and he said it started to slow down what, but we were here for 10 minutes and I caught that fish. These people out here, if the, the people you're dealing with for tackle and all that, they're so nice. They tell you exactly where to go, what to use. They want your business and they want you to catch fish. It's no real secret how to fish them out here. And if we're able to come out here without a guide and catch fish, it's something that anyone can do. Because, I mean, we like sturgeon fish. It's super similar to that. You're dropping down a slip sinker rig on the bottom with a flat noro. We have eight ounces and 10 ounces. 
Um, they sell like 16, 24 ounces depending on current, but you'll kind of know that and gauge when you come out here. But the scenery out here is just beautiful. So me and Grant, we've been out here for a good hour, maybe two, and we've kind of hop spots. We've, uh, once I caught that fish, we went back to it and kind of drifted off. Like, they play with the current a lot here with the electric dam. Um, and one guy who showed us, showed up right over here behind me, caught a, they're still reeling it in. They're like two miles down river. Um, so it must be big. We're gonna go take their spot is what he's saying. No, we're not gonna take their spot. We're, since we don't have a long anchor rope, a super long one, we have to anchor in like 16 feet and then there's a ledge that we cast in to that's about 40 feet. So we're gonna go do that and then hopefully we get some more fish for filming. We're hooked up. Grant is hooked up again. Gotta make, Grant has a giant on. Oh my goodness. How big, Grant, how big? I don't know yet. He's not really. Oh, he's coming over here. <laughs> Hunter, get on this. I gotta set the camera down a minute. I... This is what we wait for, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. I know, I get so excited. As you know, I get way overexcited. But when you drive 25 to 30 hours to catch a fish, that's, this has been a bucket list fish for years. Make sure it's... Barbless hooked, I'm shaking right now, I'm so excited. It's not that big, but still. Still so cool. right there. That is sweet. He wasn't super big, but I literally had to cast it out there for a couple minutes. Man, that was quick. We're going to get our lines on the water. The sun is going down. If we had one that soon, I would assume we're going to get more fish to bite. There we go. The sun is going down and lots of boats are showing up. Looks like all walleye fishermen, so that might be a good sign for tomorrow. We'll sturgeon fish all day and then around sunset if we haven't caught what we wanted to, we'll keep sturgeon fishing, otherwise then we're gonna switch over to walleye because yesterday we saw a post on Facebook, a guy just caught a 17 pound walleye in the Columbia River. And the funny thing is, Washington, there's no slot limits, there's no size limit. You can keep unlimited any size. It's like... They care about the salmon. They, I think they care about the salmon more, which is insane to me because you know how many people would drive across the country to catch a 17 pound walleye? No guarantees, but you, you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna talk about the setup we're using. This is a G Loomis Pro Blue, seven foot fast action, pretty much a stiff surf rod. Nice long handle on it. I have a Shimano Bait Runner, uh, 8,000. You want a big size reel to deep spool. I have 50 pound braid. Uh, realistically, 80 pound is probably what you should have out here. Um, and then for the uh, setup, I got an eight ounce no roll in this case because the current isn't super bad. Adjust your weight as needed. A bead just to protect the knot. Um, and then a super heavy duty ball barrel swivel, ball bear or ball bearing, just so um, if you do hook into a big one, it's not going to bend it out. And then just an eight out octopus. Uh, that's actually what the locals told us to use. If you're more comfortable with a circle hook, you can use that as well. And then squid, frozen squid. You can buy it at uh, bait shops around here. We got it from Sportsman's Warehouse. And then that elastic string, so you can tie it up because your hook does have to be barbless if you're going to come out here and fish for whites. Possible fish again. What? I, it's, I think the weight's rolling or something. I'm not sure. Grant is hooked up on his second fish. We got some dead weight going right here. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna break my rod here. Grant, you gotta reef him. Yeah, he's not, uh, they're not dumb. They know where the anchor rope is. This, <laughs> yeah, this one's actually tiring me out.
Oh, look at that. He shot up like a torpedo. All right, we just got a picture of it, and just he is, like that, he's gonna release it. He's good to go. Not all wrapped up. Oh, he's wrapped a little bit. The line was wrapped. It is barbless, though. So. Oh, just like that, he's off. <laughs> Three fish. Two guys coming across the country, know nothing about white sturgeon fishing. We're at three fish already, and we're only on day one. Me and Grant just finished up day four of the trip and day one of sturgeon fishing. I caught a roughly seven footer, six, seven footer. We didn't measure it, but then Grant caught a 50 incher and probably, I don't know if that last one was 55 or 60. Uh, it's just kind of an inconvenience to measure them, so it's easy just to get them back. Uh, since you can't take them out of the water. But if you enjoy, don't forget to hit the like button, turn on the bell notification. When you click subscribe, any questions or comments you have, just drop them down below. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned. You'll see a preview of uh, the next video we'll post. 70 inches long, a little smaller, just a fatter head than uh,